guys, welcome. For those that do not know me, I'm Tabitha, psychic, medium, healer, and starseed. Okay, this is gonna be about a month long prediction. It is intended for August for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius, but whenever it reaches you is when it's meant for you. Uh, there could still be a message here. Okay, so the angel that's coming through for you guys is Archangel Zedekiel. So this Archangel helps with um, remembering facts, actually. If you were a student, this would be a really good Archangel to call on, especially for exams. Um, or even if you're just trying to recall any type of fact. Uh, really good to use for remembering your spiritual origin um, and like your mission or purpose here. Also really good for choosing forgiveness or healing memories of past life, especially in like traumas um, or anything like that. So Archangel Zedekiel, really great to use for students if you're studying or learning. Um, also really good if you're trying to figure out your soul purpose or mission here on earth. And if you are trying to like forgive someone, heal um, past life uh, wounds or timelines. Okay, and then you guys had, so you had celestial sight. So this is to tune into your serenity, which is, this is also used a lot to um, communicate with the higher planes. Uh, but anyone that's um, ignoring the constant inner voice that actually has some really good ideas could really benefit from this crystal. Um, anyone that uh, needs to like calm down or, or is doing like some meditating or prayer work, this is a good crystal to keep on you during that time. Like I said, it's really gonna help you to communicate. Anything blue is gonna help activate and open up your throat chakra as well. Uh, then you guys had serpentine. So awaken your reptilian nature, kundalini awakening. Uh, people that really enjoy yoga might benefit from this. Someone that is trying to um, spiritually express themselves. Um, this is really good to get rid of any unstuck energy flow that might be in your body. Um, if you're not familiar, you could like kind of activate a kundalini awakening within yourself. It's when you can feel the energy like rising up your spine spine and throughout your body so you can do that in like a meditative state it might be a really good uh crystal for you to use and then you guys got arcanite so find your center anyone that's feeling out of alignment or needs major rest um this is really good to just keep near you then meditate with it uh but uh definitely take that time if you are feeling the need to uh rest retreat um <laughs> crab hermit shells coming through okay Let's get into your starseed cards. So um, you guys had deep cellular healing, octurious energy, physical and emotional healing. So during the during your REM cycle, this is why it's really important that they're really wanting you guys to get sleep, is because the octurian uh, starseed uh, or the octurian beings um, are healing you as you sleep. Okay, so. Um, I also have an angels coming through as well that are that are trying to help you guys. Um, so during the night, they are actually uh, doing healing work on you. So if you tend to wake up throughout the night, depending on what time it is, it can actually be um, a response to um, deep healing work being done on your body. So for example, if you wake up a lot, um, say at like 1 a.m., that could be related to your stomach, which could be about like fears and anxieties. Uh, let's say you wake up a lot at like 4 a.m. and that has to do with the lungs. Um, you know, so it's it's very interesting. So they are just telling you guys to get the rest that you need, um, and that these beings, uh, especially the Octarius um, beings, they're extremely sophisticated. Um, beings they uh, are really good communicators really good healers so let them do their their work on you and some of you could even be Octarian star seeds that could really relate to you so break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future so this is time to break down those old systems and templates some of you might be healing like family curses or timelines or lineage um, so you know like parents, child, grandchild type of thing, uh, three generations to break um, any types of like curses or ancestral patterns. Um, and so you guys are being called upon to do that. Uh, there, You have the warrior woman call, card here. So um, have you answered your deepest calling yet? Um, 
So you can break free of limitations. You have this sword here to break free of ancestral um, patterns. Um, and you have a lot of work, healing work happening at this time. Okay, so Sagittarius, you guys are starting the month off completing a cycle. So you have universe here, universal knowledge. Um, you're now on top of the world. Uh, you're ready to start this new cycle. Um, some of you may be keeping this uh, a secret or you may be kind of secretive about this. This could be because in the past, um, people may have been deceptive, especially when they saw uh, your ships coming in, but uh, your ships are coming in. So some of you, like I said, might be a little secretive about this. Uh, if you can see it now, you might start to really see some things come to fruition at the beginning of August. Uh, this has taken a, took a lot of strength. Uh, a lot of battles have taken place here. You have to learn to tame the beast. Um, even like fight low vibrational energies. You may have been dealing with a lot of stress um, like in the first week here of August or a lot of responsibilities. This is feeling kind of burdened, okay? Um, this could even have just been this, this, this uh, deceptiveness or like closing out this cycle could have been, you know, really burdensome. We also do have the five of swords here. So feeling kind of defeated or perhaps like maybe even betrayed at some point. Um, maybe someone was like spoiling for a fight or uh, there was like an unjust win perhaps. Uh, but listen to your information. <laughs> listen to your intuition. And your information, your guidance. This is the divine. Uh, so you guys might have um, abilities yourselves. You might be psychics, healers. Um, but usually when the high priestess comes up, this is someone who knows universal secrets. And they are pointing me back to the universe here again. And this person... Um, they get like a lot of downloads, psychic knowledge. They might use divination tools. Um, and this person's obviously looked up to usually for, for wisdom and guidance. Uh, so some of you might need to either seek that out or find that within yourselves um, there in the first week, especially if you find someone is being deceptive or you feel this like sneaky energy. Um, moving into your second week. For some of you, you could be wanting to like gain intelligence or like seek knowledge, high priestess information about this type of energy. Or this energy could just be coming in to, to bring you a lot of joy and success and happiness. Um, so this is uh, the King of Pentacles here. So this could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, but this is someone who is very solid, grounded, reliable, um, stable. Uh, they'll finish a task like through, even if it's like tedious. Um, this person might really like to be outdoors. This person has a lot of material wealth. Uh, they could possibly be a business owner. They're like in a good in investor. Um, also too, so like they really like possessions and like material worth or wealth. Um, so they probably have a lot of it. But uh, like I said, this could be some sort of businessman um, or an investor or just someone really solid and stable who like kind of has it all together and, and really likes um, outdoors. Uh, then you have it following here with the sun. So happiness, joy, contentment, this is the happiest card on the, on the in the deck. This brings bliss. Um, sometimes it can even be representative of like a baby boy or just, you know, um, absolute bliss and joy. Uh, so I mean, it is shining on this, um, this king here. Uh, so we also have, though, the um, hanged man. So things may have been stagnant for you or they might feel a little stagnant. Um, then there's like this burst of sunshine and ray. So um, anyways, uh, this person's hanging by a thread. Um, they feel like they've made a lot of sacrifices, but there is a breakthrough uh, that comes along with this card, okay? And so this is in your second week and this breakthrough might have to, or might um, have to do with um, 
this like letting go of something okay like maybe you need to let go of like material wealth or ego like possession power um there's something that this person is hoarding um that they like it's almost like a little bit greedy in a sense okay um from this though does come victory and success okay so maybe once we like sacrifice these possessions or this this feeling um comes this victory success public recognition this is the knight returning home after battle victorious triumphant um being well recognized also too they want me to show you guys that um this sun is like also illuminating your stagnancy so they, they really want me to just like radiate the sun um so for some of you, uh, like you could have um, been at like sort of some sort of crossroads. Maybe you're patiently waiting for something to pay out. Um, you may even be been in the thought of like reevaluating. It could have been because you felt left out in the cold, or you feel left out in the cold, or um, this is kind of like either you felt left out, or you're feeling left out by the divine, or um, this is just um, being left out uh so that's all kind of going down there in the second week um so really try to um release yourself um from anything that is uh that you that you're like holding on too tightly to so moving into your third week um we do have justice here so um there and it's in areas of like perhaps even like some sort of work or collaboration or project. So there could be justice coming in. Um, things could be like balanced out. Things might be a little bit more fair. Uh, there might be like some like order or like, um, it's like, well, we have temperance here, which actually sometimes represents you Sagittarius, but this is someone blending and alchemizing and being patient and working with what they have and creating out of that, okay? Um, and then we have these this group of people working on this project that's going to be well received and uh, you know you you had justice coming in along with that and balancing out the, out the scales so especially if you felt left out of like a collaboration or a group or something like that or left out um, in some area it seems like there is going to be uh, like justice for that okay and it could come in forms of this like collaboration um, so there could be this like project or this, um, you know, something that, that you'll be working on with like, a, it's usually a group of people. Um, but, you know, there is going to require some patience along this while you bring this to life or while you guys create. Um, but uh, there is, this is a fresh start for you, okay? So you have a fresh start coming in the third week. Um, there's communication, clarity. Um, this is like something brand new that is could be possibly very different okay um we have the hierophant here so this could be like a boss or just higher ups um this is also sometimes like tradition marriage contracts um it is can also be about like religion or just like um authority figures and then we have this like mother earth like nurturing empress energy here as well so you guys could be very fertile in your third week there they do want me to point that out to you guys um but this is someone um who's very like loving and caring it is the counterpart to the emperor this person is looked up to they're very wise um they have a lot of like just abundance around them um very nurturing mother connected to earth um very beautiful sacred energy here uh so yeah you some of you could be dealing with like some sort of authority figure is coming through you know uh you could get some like even possibly like clarity in that area Especially if you are dealing with some sort of court case, um, it looks like there is going to be some generosity towards you. Um, someone's mother and like father could want to help them out. There could be some generosity there coming for you. Um, yeah. Uh, so moving in. So yeah. So there could definitely be some generosity coming to help you guys. Um, 
Some of you could even, like, I don't know if you're becoming a mother even possibly, like, within that third week, but they did just really want me to mention that fertility. Uh, okay, so moving into your last week, perhaps once the generosity comes in, it could bring a little bit of confusion because it makes you realize that you have a lot of options, okay? So there could be a little bit of confusion. There's a lot of options. Um, and then we have this, like, breakup here. Um, so like could be a breakup, a separation, um, or maybe even just like old heartache or turmoil. Um, but this is usually a severing of a relationship. Um, maybe this is you guys, uh, you know, because you have a lot of options, um, possibly because you were bored and discontent. Um, this is someone who's like not really like satisfied with what's in front of them. Um, so they're reevaluating what's there, but there is usually a, call, a cut being offered that either the person can't see or hasn't noticed, but there is um, another cut there. Um, yeah, so some of you, like, you could have been, like, a little bit bored and discontent in this relationship. Someone could have been a little bit childish that is coming through as well, like, kind of in and out energy. Um, they could also be kind of, like, don't really think before they speak, and they might come off a little, like, um, it's, like, kind of, like, ego, like, a, like, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's an ego. Uh, they have an ego, I guess. Uh, um... So for some of you as well, though, like you could be really like um, finding out like what it is that like that like fuels you like passion and fire wise. Um, some of you may even think about going like back to school or you might even get some communication about like good news and regarding like regarding um, your like knowledge or like education or like your divine wisdom is coming through because we have like the page of wands and 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 someone could also be like uh wanting to learn from someone we do have some sort of like mentorship coming through here um yeah and some of you like you could be like moving into like uh like some sort of like health field for some of you you could be moving into the legal system for some of you you could be moving in like they seem like new jobs or like avenues like that maybe come from this project um some of you could be working in the nature like in nature some of you could be working like in the community helping people i see some people working in like near water and then i see some people just like working on like a bunch of like little projects like one makes like something it's like a big um structure um and i see like someone just creating like a bunch of little things that go towards uh like it's like a brand product or like a line uh okay so you guys have your wishes and desires uh coming through in the last week there um so it towards the end of august for you and you may even get some communication for some of you, uh, your your wishes and desires might be to move or relocate or move in, or in the right direction. Um, I do see like like the divine helping you out with that. Um, also, too, like some of you might get communication very specifically if you are dealing with like the courts. Like you might get some communication there that moves you out of conflict. Um, and, uh, for some of you, like you might get communication from the divine, uh, you might get some, some, some sort of like, uh, like epiphany there. And some of you might be like re-traveling or, or relocating. Okay. Um, and, and just moving out of conflict in general, moving into a better direction. Uh, so we do have like some sort of epiphany happening here. You might get a sudden like download of like knowledge, um, from the divine. Uh, they are calling you. You may need to make a choice. Um, it does look like it's it's in regards to like moving or moving on or moving out of conflict. Um, and it could have to do with uh, this King of Swords here. So you could possibly be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this person's laser focused. They're extremely smart. They have a lot of intelligence. Um, they're about action. So they put their plans into actions, but they are very methodical about what they do. Um, they can come off a little cold and detached, but um, it's just that like this person is really like, focused on what they what on their task okay like they're 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 a knight at heart like they 
they're there to like get the job done is like what comes through um but extremely intelligent um a lot of knowledge there uh a lot of like power action i even heard authoritative um, and this person could very well have some sort of offer for you. Um, this is the Knight of Pentacles. So um, it may have been like slow moving, but uh, this this Knight does come forth with something tangible. It is an offer. It could be a pay raise, a new job opportunity, um, a promotion, um, something just solid and stable, something tangible. It could be some sort of gift. Um, but it looks like for you guys very specifically, it has to do with your workplace because this is the eight of pentacles. So this is someone, um, being able, it's almost the payout for all your hard work. Actually, it's someone working really hard at their craft and it paying out for them. Um, and, uh, after this follows the life of luxury, um, and independence as a single person. So, and then to follow that is the happily ever after as the 10 of cups of family. So they did just want me to point that out to you guys uh so that's kind of how you guys are ending august which is great so you from the angels they said successful completion this is a time of incredible accomplishment uh you've just you are justified in feeling joy a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you've done you've been blessed with many spiritual insights so soon you'll be beginning a new journey but for now bask in the happiness and, and of your dreams coming true so yeah some of you might also be feeling just extremely abundant and like wealthy like uh you know with this king of pentacles energy there um but yeah happiness of your dreams coming true and then helper of action you're blessed with many wonderful things to do it would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first but you probably don't have the time so get busy follow your instincts and have fun you or someone um, you meet is very self-assured capable enthusiastic and can do anything with a smile perfect okay so let's just get some words here from your galactic family so they are saying to you, Sagittarius, inner world, your internal world is a reflection of your, or sorry, your external world is a reflection of your internal world. So it starts first in here, guys. It starts first, like, as above, so below. Um, we cultivate all that energy and then it manifests here in this more material dimension that we are in. So they want to make sure that, you know, it's really important what we are feeling in here because that's what you're going to receive back. So make sure that it is high vibe. And then gratitude. Universal love shines through the miracles of life and all around you. Sending you guys so much love, light, and healing. Bye.